Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to my channel Um, Guys, before anything Sorry for the late, late upload of a video I know it has been a lot of time since I didn't upload anything But really have been busy um, I didn't have any time to prepare anything So forgive me um, Well I back on track so here we go so today we're going to start a new section yay and this section is going to be about mysterious disappearance of people as you know recently it has been a very curious case here in Europe so today I'm going to be talking about the missing of Natalia Sanchez Uribe. Natalia was a 22-year girl from Palma Nova, Mallorca, Spain. Uh, she was studying business and economy in Barcelona University. During her third year of uni, Sanchez decided to go to on to go on Erasmus. Um, she decided to go to Paris. She arrived there on September. 2018 to spend a couple of months till May. It wasn't her first time far away from home because she had spent one year walking in London before. Uh, she was a very cheerful girl but her friends claimed that she was a little bit scared of everything person. Okay, let's move on to the case. So on the 1st of May, the parents of Natalia didn't have during all the day any response of her, so they went to talk with the police. Also, her friends told to the police that she claimed to feel pursued and observed during months ago, but they didn't believe her as she was a very suspicious person. As I say, they told also that she was a scary of everything. So, Natalia was living in Paris, in the 14th district there, in Powerfort Street, in a rented apartment. But she decided to move during those days to a friend's apartment. This decision was uh, really strange because she has only 15 days left to finish her final exams uh, in the university and during these weeks, um, well, she has to take the finals, and also she will left Paris. So this change of apartment was really suspicious. But I have read in other news that the contract was going to expire, so that's why she was going to move to her friend's apartment. So. The morning of the 1st of May, her disappearance uh, was released. So she was moving her luggage from her rented apartment to this friend's apartment. Natalia took two of the luggages and let one um, suitcase in the um, rented apartment. She went to her friend's house with those two suitcases, let them there and say, okay, I'm going to come back to my home to take the last suitcase and then I come back and we study. But Natalia didn't arrive to her own rented apartment and she neither went to her friend's house again, so she lost in the way home. So now let's talk about Natalia's feeling. I think it is important to understand what the case. I have done some research and also have seen uh, some news uh, that talk about this. And it is thought that Natalia was feeling lonely because uh, she didn't achieve to make any friends there in Paris and she also was hoping to come back to Spain. Maybe she was feeling homesick. And 
also I have read some of the messages that she posts in her social media and there are some curious uh, let me read you one that says when your mental health is bad take a break don't feel guilty of things you can't make take care of you of your mind it is important guys I think that you know, nowadays uh, almost everyone suffers from um, like mental health you know like we need to rest and I think maybe Natalia was a little bit stressed also in another different country with all these feelings and plus the loneliness and you know I don't think that this is a problem um, like I don't think it is bad to to be open about this, I think it's important. Um, well, Natalia's mental health, I think it wasn't good. Um, maybe this is one of the reasons of her disappearance. Okay, now let's move on to the declarations of the landlord of the apartment. Uh, the name of the man that the man that rented the apartment of of Natalia was called Pavia, he was Italian and he declared to the policeman that he sends some messages to a friend's friend of him uh, because he didn't get any answer of Natalia that day and they have an appointment because Natalia has to pay for the rented apartment but as she didn't answer he sent her a message saying, are you dead? But, well, now he is he regrets a lot sending that message. He did it as a joke, you know. Mm, I think that they have talked uh, several times, so they have quite a little bit of, like, not a friendship, but, you know, like, there was there was confidence between them. Um well he entered to the to his home to the flat and he claimed to the police that the environment there was strange well um the windows were open the door when he opened the door she didn't have uh the lock um, and he also uh found some bread pieces and ham pieces uh, so he he felt like it was really curious. Um, so after feeling terrible during many hours, because you know he didn't receive any response and he was waiting and the girl didn't come, so he decided to um, take a nap there or sleep there from for some hours in the cot of the apartment. Uh, well, the last things I know is that he claimed that Natalia uh, hasn't committed suicide. Uh, well, he didn't think so because um, normally if she would do it, he thinks he, he would found it on the apartment, her dead body, that's his opinion. Um, and he also claimed that he didn't like uh, Natalia's friend, friends. Um, he also says, well, he repeats a lot of time to the police that he isn't involved, he is innocent, and the only thing involved with this case is his apartment. So guys, now, solving the case, finally we have um, responses for this case, which is really important because uh, there are lots, you know, disappearance of people that we never get to know what happened with them. But this time we have it and I'm really happy because the story has a happy ending, you know. Um, so this Wednesday, 8th of May, 
Natalia has been found on a street, a little bit disorientated, and has been immediately taken to a near hospital where his parents has gone to check her identity. Um, after being disappeared for one week, Natalia is now recovering, and even if her parents don't don't want to give more information, and it's totally understa understandable. Um, um, I'm really happy that Natalia is fine, well, doing fine now, and is safe and alive. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this mystery. And if you would like to see more of this section, like more videos about disappearance, please comment down below and give it a thumb up to this video. Thanks for watching it. Love you guys. Bye.